borrowing a bar of someone's soap that's been in their bum. In their bum? Like if, how are you guys no, using soap like at your house? In and around your bum and your nethers. Oh, you know, no zones. I don't know about in. But like when you're soaping yourself up, yeah. do you do you, Ryan? You lather up your hands and then use your hands. What? How are you using soap? Is that actually how you use a bar of soap? Is that how you not? Oh, my God. What have you been doing? Oh, my God. You've been putting the soap. At, don't make... Oh. I've used I've soap at your house. I've been taking the bar into the areas that it needs to go. Are you supposed to just, like, flap it up in your hands don't and then flap. and then scrub like this? Well, it would so, you wouldn't lose it in any orifices. Oh, my God. Parents demand this New Jersey art teacher should be fired because her curves are a distraction. What do you mean her curves are a distraction? What? <laughs> this seems like an elementary school. None of the kids in there care about how she looks, and there's nothing that she could wear that would change how her body is shaped. Now, I will admit, she got the yams, but last time I checked, that stopped no one from learning basic arithmetic, man. Eighth grade teacher defends herself after getting fired for giving students zeros for not submitting homework. She refused to let her students off easy for not completing an assignment they were supposed to and was wrongfully punished for it in the end. A middle school teacher was promptly let go after she was told by school administrators that she failed to follow the school's guidelines when it came to grading her students. Yeah, like the rest of you guys watching, I'm looking for what she did wrong, man. Homework is supposed to help support the classwork. Now, personally, I am of the opinion that homework shouldn't necessarily count towards a grade because that's extra work outside of school, but it should remain an expectation for students to study outside of school to prepare themselves for a test or whatever material is going to be taught the next day. But that's just my opinion. In this situation where there was actually a grade, where there's actually marks earned for doing work, and people weren't doing that work, therefore they failed the class, it makes sense to me. And it's certainly not the fault of the teacher. She can't go to every single student's house and force them to do homework. If they don't want to study, it's on them for failing. Is that not obvious? I cannot believe that Theodore is eight months old today. Happy birthday, little teddy bear. Wait, that's, that's not how birthdays work. He's just eight months old. He hasn't even reached a year yet. What are you counting? I just want a mid-girl, just like this, who will do cute stuff to show me that she loves me while we're out at brunch. This is the mid-girl? Oh my god, I don't think anybody's ranking anything properly anymore. I think the internet has absolutely ruined what attractiveness is supposed to be. A Missouri lawmaker defended child marriage, saying kids he knows who got married at the age of 12 are still married. They can get married in the first place? A child can be married to a grown fucking adult in Missouri? Why? How come that question never came up? Why is nobody worried about that? That has been happening? And I just find it so funny that this dude thinks just because somebody is still married means that they're happy, means that they were content with their decision making. What makes you think that 12 year old had any choice to get into that union? You feel me? To get married. What? What is this? What the f My husband and I have shopped here consistently for years, but we will use a different location from now on. They literally lock the doors right in your face if you show up two minutes after closing. Let me get this straight. You sought out the PetSmart on Yelp. You left the one star review. You typed out this entire paragraph and you still didn't realize what the f was wrong with your decision. You still didn't realize that you went to the store when it was closing and you were mad that you didn't get in. Are you, are you that dumb? Hey guys, you can easily build your own furniture for less than 50 bucks. His garage. Why is this so true? I've noticed the same thing when it comes to any sort of woodworking videos that I like to watch. And you just gotta accept the fact that you'll never build that canoe. That you'll never build that cool wizard wand. You're just here to watch it. And that's just how it is. You're not here to really learn anything. You're here to see a piece of wood be turned into a piece of art. Football, Acharaf Hakimi's wife filed for divorce and demanded half of his property. She was, however, informed by the court that her millionaire husband owns nothing and all of his property is registered under his mother's names. Hakimi receives 1 million euros from PSG monthly, but 80% of it is deposited into his mother Fatima's account. He has no property, cars, houses, jewelry, or even clothes in his name. 
Anytime he wants anything, he asks his new mother who buys it for him. Looks like we found an exploit, boys. Of course, in the future, this may or may not be patched, so be careful to not exploit it too much. We don't want the authorities to know that this uh, exploit exists. This next clip shows a woman fleeing a car crash because she doesn't have insurance. You know what, every day I realize the real reason why YouTube got rid of the dislike button. It wasn't because of hate, it wasn't because of mental health, it was simply because Netflix and other larger streaming platforms were tired of getting ratioed for their bad content. And now their only recourse to ignore all of the negative criticism to this documentary is to turn off the comment and to be honest that's a dub we won the fact that they go out of their way to censor the the comments to make sure that you can't say bad things about this egyptian fan fiction masquerading as a f***ing documentary goes to show that maybe just maybe we're right texas dairy farm explosion kills 18,000 cows but of course we aren't seeing this on the news, another one so coincidental. My man, you are literally commenting on the news. That's the post under your post, like what do you think this is? Now I will admit, for whatever reason, 2023 has had a theme of meat processing plants catching on fire and blowing up, farms blowing up, farms catching on fire. I don't know if anything is linked, I don't know if anybody's doing anything, I don't know if there's a motive, but it is strange that has been happening in the past five months but I'm certain that there isn't a conspiracy to not talk about it because the post that you're commenting on is literally talking about it. Let's say you open a trading account with $30. If you're able to compound gains at 5% a day for a year, this is what your account would look like by November. I understand there's only 260 trading days and you might not trade every day and you also might make a withdrawal, but put this all into perspective. What do you mean put this all into perspective? Who can get 5% gains daily by day trading? That is impossible. Everything you do in the market is already priced in. There is barely any profit to be made by day trading daily. Now you can earn money that way, but not 5% a day, are you serious? Nancy Pelosi doesn't even see gains like that. And her portfolio is the literal definition of insider trading, so you are smoking crack. If you think any of this is remotely realistic, People say, well, what did people do before vaccines, antibiotics, and pasturation? As if that's an argument for going natural. They died, Carol. A lot of people died. These girls aren't getting married. They're making virginity pledges to their dads. What? Somebody needs to call the police. Something is strange about that. Now, don't get me wrong. If you want to save yourself from marriage, go ahead. I don't think there's a soul out there who would stop you or be against that but I don't think you need to make a virginity pledge to your dad and also take wedding photos with him. I don't think that's a part of the process. This next clip shows a guy going to a water park even though he doesn't know how to swim. Hey, we use miles per hour in this country. Wheels is an Australian magazine. We use metric measurements. You're on the internet, which is American. Therefore, you use American measurements. Actually, the World Wide Web was first developed in CERN, so I don't believe you for not knowing that. You're apparently an American. Adele says new album will explain her divorce to her young son. Mom, why do I only see dad on the weekends? Track five, just, just skip to track five, you'll understand, all right, can you get out of my face? Is it fair for me not to want my boyfriend going to strip clubs even though I'm a dancer? Yeah, go ahead and just tell him that we have strippers at home. Damn. Damn. 
Vegan art. What if humans never hunted innocent animals? Goats might have evolved with us to be as intelligent as humans. Centuries of injustice. Oh my god. Okay. Why? Why does it have titties? Now here's some lore for you, because there's, of course, more to this post. OP went into detail about who drew this image. It wasn't Vegans of Bengal, but it was another Twitter account where uh, they are really into dinosaurs. And that's putting it so f lightly. Axe, invented in 6000 BC. People in 601 BC, 5999. You almost had it. You almost you almost proved to the world that you could count. In 2002, a 19-year-old British garbage man won 10 million pounds, approximately 15 million dollars on the lottery. He spent it all on drugs, gambling, and prostitutes, and eight years later was back working as a garbage man again. He's a 10, but he takes steroids. Oh, it's because six. Okay, explain it. Because if he takes steroids, he's not even the man. He's trying. He's not even trying to get big for himself. He's being a wuss. Cheating his way through it. Are, are you guys against implants? No. No. I say do whatever the fuck you want with your body. Body your choice, right? Yeah. Your body your choice. Flat Earth moms. Hey friends, any suggestions for science curriculum for third grade? With a little bit of everything, not too heavy on the solar system? Or if so, how do you go about teaching truth to your little ones when those pages come up? I also want hands-on activities included. My daughter loves animals and nature. Move along if you don't see truth in Flat Earth. And no, the ins and outs are not up for discussion. I'm speaking purely for curriculum. If you want that, find a Flat Earth group. It's crazy that we have the entirety of human knowledge in our pockets, yet people still make the active decision to be retarded. Hey ChatGPT, could you tell me a joke with Buddha? Sure, here's a joke with Buddha. One day, Buddha was walking through a forest with one of his disciples and they came across a hot dog stand. The disciple asked, Master, would you like a hot dog? Buddha replied, make me one with everything. Okay, okay, tell me another one with Jesus. Sure, here's a joke. Jesus walks into a hotel, hands to the innkeeper three nails and asks, Can you put me up for the night? Okay, ChatGPT, you're killing it. You're killing me. Tell me a third one with Muhammad. I'm sorry, I can't fulfill that request with the joke with Muhammad. As an AI language model, I adhere to cultural and religious sensitivity and strive to avoid making jokes or comments that could be considered disrespectful or offensive to any religion, culture, or individual. Oh my god, everyone, what's stopping you from doing this with your partner? Isn't it so cute? You know, how about common sense? because one slip and both of you are gone. Out of the game, no revives, no retries. All my siblings and myself had chicken pox and measles. My own children had chicken pox and I'm pretty sure my son had a mild case of measles. We're all unvaxxed. Yeah, that explains the chicken pox and measles. Why would you subject that to your children? What the f But you literally just judged all Nazis as assholes. My grandfather, my grandmother, their families and friends were all involved with the party. They're also some of the kindest and most wonderful people I've ever met. Yet you've already judged them based on a group generalization. I'd love to introduce them to my great grandparents, but they were gassed in a concentration camp. But I'm sure they were great though. I'm sure they were real friendly. Yo, when I look back at Pimp My Ride, that was so stupid. Yeah, when they put TV screens in the mud flaps, I knew they were on some BS. Fun fact, because there were always so many devices inside of the car, the car battery wouldn't be enough to power everything, including the engine. So most Pimp My Ride cars, after getting all the gadgets installed and all the chrome and gold put on, just wouldn't be able to drive because the battery couldn't even start the engine. Anyone got any tips on how to f to remove that? Because I was cooking some steak and the pan burst into flames. And so instantly I put it on the floor because I was stressed. I was like, I don't want to blow up today. My cat's in the house. So I put it on the floor and then it burnt the floor. This is an epidemic. One in four homeless people are women. Is that right? That's a weird way of saying 75% of homeless people are men. So what's really the problem here? TA here and we have to use this website to detect AI writing with students, so I decided to check the US Constitution and 92.26% of it was written by AI chat GPT. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aylaris aka Panda Daddy and I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing and if you're old make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. 
I have beaten the virus that I caught last week, thank God. So this week there's going to be a ton of content that I should have been working on, but I couldn't because my voice was out of commission. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, The Eggs One, Fitz Chivalry, Din Corda, Code Connor Purvis, Aileris's Mom, Declan, S16, Green Pasta Man, Squish, Rin Hex, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Zach F, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dunder Nass Hawk, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss patreon user noah and katherine taylor thank you so much for your support it is greatly appreciated and if you want to help support the channel there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my patreon both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here and as always stay zesty